Hi, my name is Paul Fletcher. I'm a periodontist and a member of Specialized Dentistry of New York. I'd like to discuss how to avoid leaving excess cement subgingivally around a cemented implant restoration. While implant restorations were originally screw retained, in order to make the restorative technique more like conventional crown and bridge, the implant companies developed protocols that allowed a practitioner to cement an implant restoration. The problem they subsequently found, though, is excess cement contributed to the development of peri-implant disease. Now, as a periodontist, I'd prefer that all implant restorations were screw retained so they could be removed so for maintenance or repair if necessary. But if you find you have to cement a case, there's a technique presented by Chadwar Wadwani from Seattle that bears repeating. The idea is to use a cementing dye to express any excess cement from the restoration before it's placed in the patient's mouth. To do this, you first have to construct the cementing dye. All you have to do is place some lubricant or dye spacer into the restoration and fill it with a quick setting acrylic or impression material. Before the material sets, place a small dye into it and then once it sets, you can use the dowel to move the, remove the material from the inside of the crown. It will form the dye that will be an exact replica of the inside of the crown. Now place your cement into the restoration and then place the dye back into the restoration. You'll see that any excess cement will have extruded onto the crown margins and you can easily wipe it away with a cotton roll. Then remove the dye and seat the restoration in the patient's mouth. This technique can also be used with splinted multi-crown restorations and there'll be no excess cement expressed into the tissues. A retrievable restoration offers valuable benefits. As I mentioned before, use a screw retained restoration whenever possible. But if you must cement, use a cementing dye and definitely use temporary cement, not permanent.